So on that last 19 miles, mm -hmm. feet are broken, ankles are taped, shin splints, stress fractures. What are the words that are going through your mind? Are you in the cookie jar? I'm, I'm deep in the cookie jar. And the cookie jar is something that I've made up of all the failures of my life, all the things that I was, I failed and I went back. I failed and I went back and I finally succeeded. All the things that kicked my ass, I put them all in the cookie jar because at times of hell, even the hardest men, in times of suffering, what we do is we forget how hard we really are because that's what suffering is. Suffering is a test. That's all it is. Suffering is the true test of life. And so that cookie jar travels in my brain. So whenever I get put in a situation where I have poopy pants, the woe is me mentality of, oh, my God, life sucks. I take a second. I take the one second decision. I step out of my life for one second, go in the cookie jar, pull up. Oh, motherfucker, you went you were in three hell weeks and finished two. One of those hell weeks, a guy died because it was so bad. Oh, you are a motherfucking badass. You are. I put it back in the cookie jar and I remember who the fuck I really am. I'm not the kid that, got, that was called nigga. I'm not the scared kid. This is who I am. It's a reminder of who you truly are at the core of yourself. But what I was saying to myself the whole time on that track, and, it, and this is what I say to myself, self-talk and visualization are the two keys to my success. I believed for that last time, 19 miles, I was indestructible. Because I took myself in that chair, crapping up my back, peeing blood down my leg, shin splint stress fractures. I use all that for motivation versus negativity. I use it for motivation. I, I, I said to myself, who on this fucking earth would still be going right now? You are. You are. You got to be the hardest motherfucker on the planet. Is it true? I don't give a fuck. At that time, right. it got me to the finish line of that fucking race. I believed it. I believe it today. I believed it enough to where my body said, he's not going to stop. And that's, I took all the negative things. I need to go to the hospital, this and that. And I used it all. Who the hell could even get out of that chair? You did. Who the hell would even think about taping stress fractures up? You did. All those things I use for motivation. I'm going to use them for motivation. I mean, that's like, that's so fucking powerful. Talk to me about the dark side. It's something that I'm sure you take a lot of heat for. It's mm -hmm. something that I think a lot about. Um, I believe people should intentionally be motivated by beauty and rage. And so many people are afraid of the negative. What power have you found in the darkness? First, before I answer that question, I want to say everybody listen to this. Um, I'm the happiest man on the planet Earth. So people may take this and as so many people do. We live in a very weakened society. So when they hear a throwback guy like me from back in the ancient days of, <laughs> of Garanimals, they often think this guy is just whatever. So if you think that I'm some unhappy guy, you're wrong. Having lived the life I've lived and seeing the other side, not being afraid to attack what was in front of me has made me happy. Say that again. And in fact, let me make sure I understood it. Getting to the point where you're not afraid to face the thing on the other side of the door that wants to attack you has made you happy. Right, right. It's really powerful. I hope people heard that. Right. That made me very happy. So basically, I just don't walk around with a dad going to smile on my face all the damn time. So, you know, Merry Christmas. But, um, but basically, what the dark side is, is we all have a cookie jar, and we all have a jar of fuck. <laughs> That's its official name. It's a jar of fuck, man, where shit just, it just ain't going right. And in Hell Week, what they do in Hell Week because this is where I really went to the dark side. Mm. What they do in Hell Week is they design Hell Week to find your flaws. And they do a really good job of that. It's 130 hours of continuous training. You may get two hours of sleep. And they beat the shit out of you and find everything wrong with your mentality. And then they start Hell Week. And that's the beauty of it. And for me, 
I'm not some not, you know, nasty God-giving guy. You know, I, I don't have a great bit of talent in anything. So what got me through horrible times was the dark side. Was I created, my name is David Goggins. I created Goggins. Goggins is the guy that can take anything you put in front of him. You want to break my motherfucking legs? So be it. I have a way of going to a place like I did in that race where all the pain and suffering that they put on top of me in Hell Week, I will reverse that pain and suffering and I will take your soul. So every instructor that put me through Buds, my job, what drove me was I wanted you to go home that night after you beat the living shit out of me and I smiled in your face. I wanted you to feel worse than I did and you were going home to a nice warm bed with your wife or your kids and a nice meal and I was still out there in the grip suffering for another 100 hours. I wanted you to think about me knowing that I'm comfortable being very unfucking comfortable and I want you to think about when you went through fucking hell week how uncomfortable you were and how bad you wanted to quit knowing I'm not thinking that fucking way. So the dark side is something that I've designed it's an evil place I can go that very few things can hurt me. I use the hurt you're trying to put on me. I flip it upside down and use it. You trying to use it for kryptonite? No. It's power pillars for me. I'm, I'm using it for strength. I just flip negative into positive. That's all it is. I heard you doing an interview one time, and the person was trying to like see the sort of empowerment, the, the beauty in that. And you were like, no, 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 it's darkness. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons that I'm, so I'm utterly fascinated with comic books. And one of the reasons that I'm so intrigued by Batman is he literally uses the darkness, the sickness that he has over what happened to him and his family to propel him forward for decades to, to keep driving. And it's, most people are broken by the bad things that happen to them, but every now and then, there's a Goggins. There's somebody who understands how to use that power to understands how, as a human being, it fucking drives you. Revenge is powerful. Like, to be able to tap into that in a way that's controlled. That's right. But to be able to bring it in, to use it, to feel the energy. There is an intoxication to rage. And I don't think people are honest about it when they talk about it. There's a fucking intoxication to that. And if you can tap into it and leverage it, not get lost to it, which is right. why I know you always caveat it by saying, look, I'm a fucking happy guy. Like, that's not what we're talking about right now. Right. But I'm a happy guy. Right. So you can't get overtaken by it. But it's there and it is so fucking powerful. It's real. That's why when I... When you said before this whole thing started, you said I can be me. The second you said I can cuss and be me, and cussing, people are saying, man, you cuss all the fucking time, why? <laughs> well, I hate to say it, the best way for me to get how I feel across, I can't sit here and say, you know what, yeah, I went through Hell Week, and man, it was, it was really hard. <laughs> no, that motherfucker takes your damn soul, rips it inside out, and then they say, now we're going to fucking start. It, it, it allows me to express right. where I was at at a point of my life. Mm. If I don't give you all of me, why the hell am I here? Why, how will you learn from me? People take so much offense to me. You will never learn from people if we always tap dance around the truth. Oh God, I love that. We so tap true. dance around the truth by finding the right words so I don't hurt you because you have thin skin. No, tighten up, people. It's okay. Trust me. It's okay. You might be called nigger one day. It's okay. You might be called some Jewish word or some faggot or gay word. It's okay. Let them call you that. What are you going to do now? They don't own your life. How are you going to control that now? How are you going to flip it upside down and say, Roger that, now I'm going to harness this shit, and you'll read about me years from now? How? That's the question. How are you going to do that? Thicken your skin. Become more of a human being. Don't be afraid of the reflection in the mirror because that's all you can be afraid of. Once you overcome the reflection in the mirror, you've done it. Uh, 